major UFOs just spotted over San Diego. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachat Badash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. devil is going to continue to play dumb like he don't know exactly what these these um lights are floating up in the sky he know what they are because according to the holy scriptures this is how the lord's elect is going to be delivered out of captivity okay in a matter of fact when when the nuclear destruction takes place during world war three the uh, Yah uh, uh, Yahweh is going to make his grand return, and, and who the world calls Jesus, when he returns, he's coming back in what the world calls a UFO. Yes, sir. Diego, and, and through through that UFO, that's how the Lord's elect is going to be delivered out of captivity. No, flares for military exercises, that's, that's BS, okay? First off, flares don't sit in one area, okay? Flares don't just sit up in the sky in one area. That's, that's BS, okay? Flares move. When you shoot a flare, it continues to move until the light gets dimmer, dimmer, and dimmer, and then it fades out. So these are not flares. These are what the world calls UFOs. Okay? Flares don't just appear and then disappear. They don't just they don't just disappear and then reappear. No, once a flare goes out, that's it. So you see, in which when you look up the word devil, the word devil means deceiver. So the devil, he's he's gonna tell you that then the, 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 these could be flares you know the, 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 these could be you know airplanes it, it could be meteorites nah these are what the world calls ufos camp pendleton nas north island both said that they are unaware of what these things could be they are unaware of what these things could be well guess what you can play, continue to play dumb because we know exactly what those things are according to the holy scriptures they are known as the chariots of Israel 
and what the world calls angels they travel inside of these vehicles of what the world calls UFOs and the angels they are dark skinned men with woolly hair just like it tells you in the holy scriptures the holy scriptures tells you that the angels are dark skinned men and they ride around in, in, what, the, in what the world calls UFOs also rumors it could be the Imperial Beach 4th of July drone show. However, IDBD said they haven't heard a thing. The truth is out there somewhere. We just don't have the answer yet. So of course the question that a lot of people want to answer is, are these UFOs? Are they flares? Or maybe a call for a second season of Kenobi? We don't know. It could be a publicity stuff. We really just don't know yet. But of course when we do know more, we will be sure to update you on online as well as our CBS. And they're not going to update you. They're not going to, because they don't want you people to know the truth about what the world calls UFOs. And they especially don't want our people to know about what the world calls UFOs. Because these devils know. Once Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, when he makes his second return, he's coming back in what the world calls a, a UFO. And he's going to be in the most biggest one at that. Okay? And that's how the Lord's elect is being delivered from this planet from the nuclear destruction which is which is going to take place during world war three hey, uh, okay. a lot of things flying over san diego but yeah. uh this one mm. it's bizarre it really is i i will say i've seen it's it's bizarre so you're talking you here it is you, you you're saying it's bizarre so you mean telling me flares are, are, are bizarre how many people have seen flares before you gonna tell me flares are bizarre? I I thought they were flares. How is a flare gonna be bizarre to to the sight of a person? So it can't be a flare. It can't be a drone show. How can a drone show be 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 bizarre? We see drones up in the we see drones up in the night sky every night. So it can't be a drone show. You see, they know. They know that, that these things hovering above the sky are so-called UFOs. But they want to continue to play down to keep the masses of the people uh, uh, asleep. They want to hide the truth from the people. No, those are what the world calls UFOs. The, this ain't no drone show. These ain't flares. These ain't meteorites. These are what the world calls UFOs. In mysterious lights in the sky, they were related to the Starlink satellites okay. that were sent out, so I don't know. <laughs> are your yeah, you do know. And it ain't got nothing to do with no Star Lakes, Starlights. Okay. That's as good as yes, I and we have not seen any evidence that there have been any satellite launches or anything right. like that going on. And you can see those videos again. Lights are just sitting there. Yeah. Uh, so hovering pretty slow, hovering so. Let's see? Shut up, wow. Hovering pretty slow. And, and guess what? If they were starlights, I'm pretty sure people would have known because starlights have a projection. So there's no way it could have been starlights. Okay? Starlights. You give me a time. When starlights hover slowly through 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 the sky, they even they even admitted that that these that these so-called UFOs was hovering slowly through the sky. So you give me you give me a time where where you give me a time where where starlights hover slowly against uh, from from uh, um, uh, through the sky. And if you say these starlights are coming from the Earth, well, well, where's the projection at? Because rather, if their lights come coming from 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 casinos, that those super bright lights, you'll be able to see where the lights are are, are 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 being projected from. So there's no way these could be starlights. Okay, that's BS. Anyways, you know, 
Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. It says, And there shall be signs in the sun. Okay? And in the moon. And in the stars. Okay? And upon the earth, the stress of nations. With perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. So, we're seeing signs among the stars. Normally, when, when we see so-called UFOs, they're traveling amongst the stars. Okay? So, we're, we're, we're seeing signs up in the heavens. And those signs are given to us for what? To let us know what time, the, the, the times that we're living in. You see? To give us the times we're living in. Okay? The Lord said that there will be signs up in the heavens to, to, to let us know the times that we're living in. So, you know, all these blood moons and the, these earth-sized tornadoes, or, 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 or they say earth-sized tornadoes on the sun, okay? But, come on, man. You can't really trust what the devil say. Who, who said the sun is really as big as it is, okay? How do we know the sun is, is not the exact same size as the earth? I mean, I'm not saying that it is, but come on, man. You can't really trust what the devil say. We're, we're talking about the same man who said that planets orbit around the sun when, 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 when the sun is the one orbiting around the earth. But anyways. You know, these are so-called UFOs. This, this is this is what's going to deliver the Lord's elect from, from the coming nuclear destruction, okay? This is what's going to deliver the Lord's elect from the coming nuclear destruction. Okay, um, let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 7. Let me see if I can find it. So I'll just go ahead and um, I'll start at Acts chapter 1 verse 6. When they, the disciples, therefore, were come together, they asked of Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And Yahawashai said unto them, his disciples, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power, right because he be, he be even said that before in the book of Matthews okay no man knoweth the time nor the seasons no not only but but the heavenly father himself the heavenly father knows when when he's going to send his son back to deliver his elect men because the heavenly father knows when 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 the destruction is going to take place okay it says but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth and while he Yahawashai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus has spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight it said a cloud a cloud had ta had taken up Yahawashai. Excuse me. Now we're going to get into what that cloud is actually talking about. But for now I'm going to continue reading. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men, which these two men were angels, okay, stood by them in white apparel. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahawashai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall, 
shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go up into heaven. So, how was Yahweh uh, 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 How did Yahweh lead the earth? The, the scripture said that he was taken up into a cloud, correct? So, let's prove that, that, that these clouds are talking about chariots. In which the chariots is talking about what the world calls UFOs. The book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse, I don't know. Maybe I'll just start at 1. And I'll just do this. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 1. Bless the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, my soul. O the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, my power. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who, who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain verse 3 who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters who maketh the clouds his chariot makarab okay wait a minute it said it said who maketh the clouds his chariot so Let's go back to Psalms chapter 1 verse 9. Okay? It says uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 9, and when he Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, has spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. So Yahweh was beamed up into into what the world calls a UFO. The Holy Bible calls them chariots. The world calls them UFOs. But we have identified them as the chariots of Israel. Because that's what the Holy Scriptures calls them. So, who the world calls Jesus, he was beamed up into, the, and up into, a, into what the world calls a UFO. And by the way, according to the Holy Scriptures, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus... He's a dark-skinned man with white woolly hair. And his eyes was red because he was a wine bibber. And that's what the Holy Scriptures, that's how the Holy Scriptures describe him. Okay? In the book of Revelation 1 verse 3, it says, Blessed is he that readeth. Because when you read the Holy Scriptures, you get a true understanding of, what, uh, of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus look like. You get a good depiction uh, of what he truly looks like. Furthermore, let's go to Revelation. Chapter 1. And I believe verse 7. Okay. And let's just start at um, verse 5 here. Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. It says, And from Yahawashai Hamashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. By the way, today is the Sabbath. So, I mean, as you sincere brothers in the truth may know, on the Sabbath, you're not, you, you cannot have sex. You're not supposed to be cooking. You're not supposed to buy or sell. You know, uh, you know, if, if, if it's your off day, you know, you're not supposed to be working. You know, you're not supposed to work on the Sabbath. You know, just, just things of that nature, you know. 
So just just to give you brothers a, a, a heads up, you know, today is the Sabbath. So. But, um, you know, the, the reason why I mentioned that was because, you know, I saw the phrase right here, wash us, wash us from our sins in his own blood, you know, because we are under the we are rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, but we're not going to be saved on keeping the law, statutes and commandments. Keeping the law, statutes and commandments is a part of the works, which which can lead to receiving salvation. But ultimately, it's going to take faith and fearing Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to receive salvation in these last days. But I read verse five to prove that verse seven. When 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 I read verse seven, it's talking about Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. So Revelation one verse seven: Behold, he who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. Behold, Yahawashai cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, when he comes back, he's coming back in what the world calls a so-called UFO. And, and he's not going to be the only one. He's coming back with, with the innumerable amount of angels, and they're coming back in what the world calls UFOs. So behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him, just like how they show you in that movie Independence Day. Okay? When 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 that major uh, uh, spaceship cracked the skies and was traveling through the skies, it was broadcasted all around the world. There was a great panic going on. Okay? And every eye shall see him. And, and why does it say every eye shall see him? Because it's going to be broadcasted all around the world. Okay? People's going to be seeing this on, on, on the internet through YouTube, through through Odyssey, through BitChute, you know, through um, you no know, people's going to be live streaming, live streaming it on their phones, and and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, Amon, yeah, everybody is going to be welling because of Yahabashai, because when 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 who the world calls. Jesus returns when Yahweh returns and what the world calls a UFO everybody is going to mistake his return for a, for a alien invasion why because the because these different governments around the world is constantly feeding this false narrative to 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 the simple masses out there that um that that uh that there are green Ball-headed, buggy-eyed aliens driving these so-called UFOs. But no, in reality, I'll tell you who's driving these so-called UFOs. And the Holy Scriptures even tell you who's driving these, who's piloting these so-called UFOs. The angels, which are dark-skinned men with woolly hair. So Yahawashai, who is also a dark-skinned man with woolly hair, Okay. When 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 he makes his return, you know when 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 he makes his return, everybody is going to mistake his return for an alien invasion. But with that, I'm gonna say Shalom is on to the next one.